Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All the praise is due to Allah and I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his last prophet and messenger. My respected viewers, brothers and sisters, one of the sources of mercy that Allah showers during the month of Ramadan is granted for people who are merciful to their parents, dutiful to them. So the question which is raised to me and to you and to everybody watching us right now, how is your status with your parents are you dutiful to them or neglectful are you connecting your relations with them caring about them serving them kissing their hands their feet standing firmly on the service spending your money on them or you are neglecting giving your companionship your attention to your family to your wife or to your husband to the other parties of your family my dear respected brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu decreed in the Quran and mentioned that very clearly. He said, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah has decreed to worship none but him and to be dutiful to your parents. When the Prophet sallallahu was asked about the top gravest sin, he said number one is to associate somebody else with Allah to commit shirk or polytheism. What is next, O Messenger of Allah? And he said being neglectful to your parents, cutting your relations with them off or cutting the relations off with them. This is one of the gravest sins that the person will be dragged in the hellfire because of that. When a man came to the Prophet وسلم, trying to make a struggle in the cause of Allah, making jihad. So the Prophet وسلم, asked him, do you have any of your parents or do you have both of them or any of them? He said, yes, O Messenger of Allah, and I left them actually crying. He said, go back, I will not accept you in the lines or rows of people struggling in the cause of Allah until you make them happy and laugh as you leave them crying. So the man returned back to his parents and sought their permission. My brothers and sisters in Islam, being dutiful to the people who honored you is something which is a part of the whole system of Islam, of thanking the others for the favors they have given to you. Being grateful to the people, the Prophet wasallam said, whoever doesn't thank the people, he doesn't really thank Allah does not really praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has assigned some punishments or acts of punishment for the people who are not dutiful to their parents. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there is no sin which is which Allah, in which Allah subhanahu proceeds the punishment in this life very quickly or quicker than a person being neglectful to his parents because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show him some of the punishments or some of the distressful situations in his life also the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la yanzuru allah ilayhi yawm al qiyamah whoever is neglectful to his parents Allah will not look at him on the day of judgment you can imagine on the day when you are wishing actually that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or even all humanity could go to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa seeking his intercession to be driven away from the long standing to be resurrected and then to move to the uh, other land of accountability can imagine on the day when you stand before Allah and Allah turns away from you Allah doesn't look at you for thousands of years on that very distressful day. This is merely because of not being dutiful to your parents. The Prophet ﷺ also warned us against neglecting our parents. And he 
give us the warning of a severe punishment in the hereafter for the people who just say if I can imagine if I if I is not a word it's just an air that the person say out of contempt to his parents like for example when they there are a lot of a lot of situations where a person actually show contempt and being undutiful to his parents one of those examples is I see some of the brothers especially the young people I see them actually looking sharply to their parents some others when they actually have their fathers or mothers calling them on the phone they, they turn the cell phone off they do not actually answer their phone they do not respond to their orders or to their commands and they forgot the messenger sallallahu hadith when a man came to him and said oh messenger of allah who is the best person or the most worthy person to take as a friend of mine you can imagine the prophet sallallahu didn't tell him about his peer he did not tell him about his uh, friend a person in his age the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said your mother and then said and who is next he said your mother and then we said who is next your mother finally who is the rest then he said your father can imagine we we cannot see it's that situation we can we cannot see those personalities in our society nowadays my brothers and sisters do you think that to have a session with your father and your mother did you do you reveal your secrets to your mother for example do you sit with her when she calls you and she feels bored and she want to actually spend some time or you prefer actually to spend the time with your friends with your peer with your colleagues and classmates this is a reminding for all of us when a person's mother actually dies there is an angel calls upon the son of adam and says do something good and righteous and the woman that we used to honor you on her behalf or because of her she has already died so you need actually to do something better to qualify you in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my brothers and sisters where is the environment of the family when you have your father and mother and that mercy and that compassion in the muslim family we concentrate on a psychology and an environment of individualism everybody would like to live by himself to live for himself to live by the internet he does not like actually to spend some more time with his father or with his mother this is not islamic allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like that the question which is raised now how should i treat my father and mother islamically number one, you need to be dutiful to them how to be dutiful to them allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made for us a wonderful example in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the quran waqfid lahuma janah adh-dhul min ar-rahma and lower for them the wing of humbleness out of mercy you can imagine like a bird lowering its wings in the sky you need actually to lower yourself to feel humble in front of your father and mother don't sharpen your eyes in front of them don't answer them back don't raise your voice when they are talking listen to them silently listen to them peacefully and attentively number two, you need to have a companionship with them sitting with them spending time for them serving them a shafi'i may allah have mercy upon him is reported that he never ever dared to eat with his mother you know why what is the reason he disliked actually to take a piece of bread that his mother wanted to eat he did not like to take a a, a piece or something or a sip of water that his mother wished to drink or wished to take you can imagine also a man came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he was actually circumambulating around the kaaba can imagine and he was carrying his mother on his shoulder it's a very tedious and very hard work you can imagine a person circumambulating around the kaaba for seven times going in those stations and he is carrying his mother on his shoulder so the man was very happy smiling coming to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said oh messenger of allah did i fulfill the duties due on me towards my father or my mother the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam no 
even if with a second that she spent in her delivery, in delivering you. What is the reason? O oh, Messenger of Allah, this is simply because she wishes, she wished actually you to live when she was carrying you in her stomach. And you wished her to die when you are carrying her on your shoulder. So the Prophet ﷺ said, you did not fulfill the duties which are due towards your mother in that situation. A question for the brothers and sisters whose fathers and mothers died. What should I do with them? I report for you the hadith of the Messenger ﷺ in which he said, when a man came and asked the Prophet ﷺ, ماذا بقي علي من بر أبوي بعد وفاتهما? What is remaining after the death of my father? How should I do with my father and my mother after their death? Thereupon the Prophet ﷺ said, Number one, to seek Allah's forgiveness for them. This is the ayah of the Quran when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقُلْ رَبِّ ارْحَمْهُمَا كَمَا رَبَّيَانِي صَغِيرًا O oh Allah, I seek your forgiveness for my father and mother as they brought me up when I was a little child. Number two of the duties after the death of your father and mother. Number two, you can make a charity. You can spend some charity on their behalf. You can make hajj and umrah on their behalf. You can also make a running charity of their, after their death. And the Prophet ﷺ also said, you can maintain the relations that they was maintained by them. Like their friends, the people they were loved by him. This is the example of Abdullah ibn Umar ibn al-Khattab, who used to honor the friends of his father Umar ibn al-Khattab. My brothers and sisters, I advise myself. I advise you, my brothers, those and sisters who did not know the news, the latest news of their fathers and mothers. Hang up the phone right now. Take the phone and call your father and mother in that blessed nights and days, in the month of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower the mercy. Don't feel shy. Take the advantage of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and receive the mercy of Allah through the compassion over your father and mother. I ask Allah subhanahu to make us among the people who are dutiful to their fathers and to their mothers, dutiful to the Muslims, grateful to everybody. And wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, you who believe, give charity for the pleasure of Allah, the pleasure of Allah. Oh, you who believe, read the Quran. Every night of Ramadan, night of Ramadan.